So uh, let's go ahead, let's get started. Uh, as Renee mentioned, my name is William Gallagher. I am with Market Traders Institute. Uh, I'm here today to actually show you how you can actually get started in the Forex market here today. I'm actually going to show you my Forex Quick Start program here today. Uh, you may have caught my, my colleague earlier, Joe Cavallaro. He went over our Ultimate Traders Pack. Package. Uh, today I'm actually going to be demonstrating our charting platform, uh, showing some of the bells and whistles of that, but also I'm going to demonstrate what's called the London Breakout Trading Strategy. Uh, I'm actually going to get all this in your hands here today uh, to take it for a trial period here today for less than what it costs for a pack of gum. So I want to make sure everything is very affordable for everybody here today. Plus I want to give everybody a nice little education here on this Saturday afternoon. Uh, before we get started, uh, because we are about to go into the charts here in just a second, I am going to teach you a trading strategy. But before you begin, I want to let everybody know that there is no such thing as an undefeated season with trading. And you may incur losses from time to time. In fact, I'll probably show you a loss or two here today as we're going through the charts. But it is recommended that you go through our entire education and you learn this trading strategy in its entirety and you begin trading as an educated and knowledgeable trader. Now we're going to the charts here in just a second. I'll pull up my charts. I'm going to teach you a trading strategy, but please be advised that anything I show you today, do not take this as actual investment advice. We will walk through several trade examples, show you some trades that win, some that lose, but ultimately when it comes time for you to place a trade, that decision to make that trade is going to be yours and yours alone. So a uh, quick agenda of what we're going to go over here today. Uh, before we pull up the charts, uh, usually, we, let's see, we have well over, what, about 250 people in this room. Generally, a lot of people don't know what the Forex market is. Uh, don't worry, I'll give you a, a quick explanation and get you up quickly up to speed. I can give you an overview of what the Forex market is. Uh, I'll pull up my charts, uh, show you some trading strategies here and some analysis utilizing our charting platform. I'll show you some of the automated features that are built into the charting platform. Uh, I don't necessarily have a current trade opportunity I'm going to show you, but uh, those of you that were in my Investor Inspiration webinar last week, I will show you what happened on that trade, show you what is going to be moving forward and what I'm looking at in the market on that. Uh, then we will go back in and we'll come, we'll pull up the London Daybreak trading strategy, show you how that actually works. And before the end of the webinar, I'll show you how to set up a demo trading account, show you how you can get the trading software, uh, so a couple free bonuses. Like I said, you can take it for a free trial, not a free trial, you take it for a trial here today, uh, like I said, for about the cost of a pack of gum. I kind of, like I said, I refer to this as my Forex starter program get you into the Forex market, actually put all the tools in your hands here today so that when the Forex market opens tomorrow, you can literally actually start trading it uh, in a demo account uh, if you would like. So a little bit about me. I've been trading in the investment market since 1998. I've been a stock and options trader since then. I got into the Forex market because of Market Traders Institute. Because a lot of you here in the room today, I was in a webinar just like this. I became interested in the Forex market. And even though I did know what the Forex market is, I didn't understand the potential of the Forex market. So MTI took me by the hand. They taught me how to trade the Forex market. And then what ended up happening is they started asking me to go out and start doing webinars like this to help get new students up to speed. Uh, for those of you who are wondering, well, who is Market Traders Institute? Uh, in case you missed my colleague earlier here today, uh, this is actually our building. We are located in Orlando, Florida. Uh, our building is a 70,000 square foot trading and training facility. We have students that come from around the world each and every day to get trained live in our classrooms here in Orlando, Florida. We'd love to see you in person. Uh, if you don't, can't make the trip, don't worry, our education is available online. Uh, we are getting a little bit of press. We've been around for over 22 years. I uh, actually get ready to celebrate our 23rd anniversary next year. A lot of accolades here, but one of them you might recognize is one down here in the bottom right hand corner, uh, Inc. Magazine. Happy to announce we were featured last year in Inc. Magazine's 2015 of the fastest growing private companies. We were ranked 1,180. Uh, really happy to announce we moved up on that list for 2016. Uh, MTI was actually ranked 592 on this list this year. And we got this nice little letter from Inc. Magazine letting us know that we share the same pedigree as Zappos, Under Armour, Microsoft, uh, just to name a few of these companies. Uh, the only reason we continue to stay on this list is if we continue to help our students get results in the Forex market. And then those students go on and they tell other people and then through word of mouth, it just blossoms from there. So before we jump into the charts, uh, what I want to do is I want to introduce you to one of our analysts here. Because not only does MTI have some of the best trading and training facilities and education here, we also have some of the best analysts and trader, uh, trainers here. Uh, one, of his, one of their names is Joshua Martinez. A lot of you in the room, you may have heard of Josh before. Uh, he goes by the call name FX Pathfinder. 
Uh, he's one of our product experts here. He's trained thousands of Forex investors. He actually started off trading with a $500 trading account. Uh, he turned that into a $39,000 profit. Uh, he's a published author, international speaker. Uh, but the reason I'm talking about Josh here today is because he is the creator of the London Daybreak Trading Strategy I'm going to show you here today. Plus, I'm also going to show you uh, today, I'm going to kind of give you a Cliff Notes version of kind of how that, trade, that uh, trading strategy works. Uh, but you'll actually get a video from Josh where he goes into more detail uh, teaching and explaining to you how that trading strategy works. That's included as part of this free trial as well here today. Uh, but to kind of give you a little bit of third party verification here today, this is actually Joshua's trading account for 2016. Uh, this is actually, he's actually done a little bit better than this. I haven't updated this yet, but he's well over 30, 32% uh, uh, gain in his account. He's well over, uh, in this case here, 27,000 pips for the year. He's actually well over 30. Uh, by the next time uh, we do one of these webinars, I'll have to update that here. But uh, one of the London Daybreak trading strategy, this is one of the trading strategies that has helped Josh to be able to do this. And like I said, you'll get a video from him where he'll go into a little more detail teaching you and showing you how to do this. So let's go ahead, let's get started. Uh, what I want to do is before we jump in, I don't want to spend a lot of time explaining what the Forex market is if everybody already knows what it is. So if everybody in the room, just take a quick second here, look at the screen, uh, let me know what kind of trader you are. If you are brand new to the Forex market, if you have no experience whatsoever, please type the number one into the chat box. That's got to let me know you're brand new. You probably don't even know what the Forex market is. Uh, if you have a little bit of experience in this market, go ahead and type the number two in. Uh, that'll let me know that maybe you've uh, attended a workshop or two like this. Uh, maybe you're even trading in a demo or a practice account. Uh, number three is for the experienced traders. Those of you that maybe you're trading with a live account and um, maybe you know a little bit about the Forex market here. So, okay, great. So it looks like I got, um, like I said, probably uh, the 250 or so of you here in the room. Looks like most of you are brand new. I got a couple of you typing in here. It looks like a Dominic's a two. I got William says he's a three. Uh, Tron here says he's a two. So uh, what I want to do is before we jump in to get everybody up to speed, let me just start it off, take a minute or so. Let me quickly explain to you what the Forex market is. Can I give you an overview of what it is? I'll explain to you what you're doing when you're trading Forex currencies. I'll explain to you what PIP is and why do you want them. And I'll also explain to you how to actually literally get started trading in this market here today. So uh, let's jump in. Uh, let me quickly explain to you what the Forex market is. Uh, the Forex market is the foreign currency exchange market. It is the largest financial market, and there's limitless amounts of liquidity in this market. What that really means is that you can get in and out of this market really quickly here. Uh, another neat thing about the Forex market is it's a very flexible market. There are three trading sessions that go on daily in this market. You have the Asian trading session, you have the London trading session, and then you have the New York trading session. The reason I talk about this is because this ties into the trading strategy I'm about to show you here today. Uh, you have the Asian session, it overlaps with the London session, the London session overlaps with the New York session, and then New York overlaps with the Asian session. So essentially you can trade this market 24 hours a day, five days a week from 5 o'clock p.m. on Sunday to 5 o'clock p.m. on Friday. So it's a 24-hour a day market. Uh, it's also a very large market. There's over $5 trillion traded in this market. So what we do is we teach our students how to get just a fraction of a fraction of that. And even if you do just get a fraction of a fraction of that, uh, you are going to be very successful in this market. Uh, one more quick thing about the Forex market is that it allows you to focus. Unlike other markets, like the stock market, options, uh, other markets like that, uh, there's about over 40,000 different stocks you can watch and trade. In the Forex market, you only have about 60 different currency pairs to trade. Now, because Market Traders Institute, because we have almost 23 years of experience in this market, we'll break this down. We'll show you which ones to pay the most attention to, uh, plus we'll also the teach, you, we'll teach you the secrets to trading them. In fact, when I pull my charts, you'll see that I focus on about 18 different currency pairs. Uh, this London Daybreak trading strategy, it focuses on six. So we're going to break this down, make it very easy for you to show you which six to pay the attention to. So uh, we're getting ready to pull up my charts, but what I just want to make sure that everybody understands what you're looking at. Uh, what you're going to be looking at here is a screen like this. One of the things I'll explain to you is what we do in the Forex market is we trade one country's currency against another. And this is an attempt to figure out which one's going to gain in value against the other. In the, course, uh, in the case of this chart you see on your screen, if you look in the upper left-hand corner of my screen, you can see that this is the Great British Pound, GBP, US dollar, currency pair, USD. So in essence, what you're seeing on this chart right here, as the market's going up, 
the Great British Pound is gaining in value over the US dollar. When the market comes down, the US dollar is gaining in value versus the pound. Now, these little rectangles, for those of you who are not familiar, this is a candlestick chart. What you're looking at at these little rectangles, these are called Japanese candlesticks. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail explaining to you what these candlesticks are, uh, but what they do is they basically represent what the market has done in whatever time frame you select on your charts. Now, if you go back up to the left-hand corner of my screen, next to the currency pair, you see that this is a one-hour chart. So what that means is that each one of these candlesticks, it represents what the market has done in that one hour of time frame. Now, like I said, I don't like to go into a lot of time explaining what these candlesticks are, but all you really need to know is that the white candlesticks mean that during that one hour time frame the market went up and the dark blue ones mean that the market went down. The white ones are referred to as bullish candlesticks and you have the dark blue ones they are referred to as bearish candlesticks. Uh, one more thing I'll point out is that these candlesticks they form what are called candlestick formations. We look at these candlestick formations as the sign language of the market. They help to tell the trader a story. Uh, this one you see on the bottom of your left hand corner of your screen right here that I have circled. This is what we call a morning star candlestick formation. Sign language of the market, kind of giving that trader a little bit of hint saying, hey, look for this market to U-turn and go upward in a bullish movement. This is an evening star candlestick formation at the top. What this is telling the trader is to look for the market to U-turn and go down in a bearish movement. Now I'm not going to go into a lot of details about candlestick formations, uh, but what I will do is I'll show you on the charts here today that we have a neat little feature that actually highlights these candlestick formations, so kind of give you an idea of what to look for in the market. And we go through candlestick formations in our full education. For those of you who would like to go through the full education, we'll definitely make you an, uh, an expert on those as well. Uh, two more quick things we need to know before we jump in, how we actually uh, are able to profit in this market. First of all, what we're trying to do in this market is capture what are called PIPs. Now, PIP, P-I-P, it is an acronym. It stands for Price Interest Point. Now, to break this down to the simplest fashion, I'm sure most of you in the room, you probably already know that the penny, there are 100 pennies in a U.S. dollar. And a penny, it represents one one-hundredth of a dollar. Pretty basic, pretty standard. However, if we were looking for a unit of measure that is smaller than a penny, it would be the equivalent to what is called a pip. Now, just as there are 100 pennies in a US dollar, there are 100 pips in a penny. So a pip, it represents one one hundredth of a pep, penny, just like a penny represents one one hundredth of a dollar. So if we were looking at this number right here, the first two numbers past the decimal point, these are your pennies. The next two decimal points, these are your pips. And we mainly focus on that fourth decimal point right there. That is the individual pip. So I kind of have an idea of how the market works, what we're trying to do in this market. Uh, let me quickly explain to you how you actually make money in this market. We utilize leverage in this market. Your broker is going to provide you leverage. This is going to allow you to place the trade and to generate a leverage return on your pips. Uh, one of the neat things about the Forex market is that there's not a much outlay to get involved in the Forex market. In fact, actually, if you were to start off trading what's called a micro lot, a micro lot, it's about a $20 investment from your trading account. With a micro lot, each one of those pips that you capture, it's going to be worth about 10 cents. So I'm going to show you today in my London Daybreak trading strategy that we're going to be going after a minimum of 50 pips per currency pair per day. So if you're trading with a micro lot and you're successful with your trade, uh, it's going to be a $5 profit uh, per currency pair. The next step is up is what's called a mini lot. A mini lot is about a $200 investment from your trading account. Each pip is now going to be worth about $1. So those 50 pips I'm about to show you, uh, if you're trading with a mini lot account, uh, it's going to make about a $50 profit per currency pair per day. Now a standard lot, this is the standard by which most traders strive to achieve in this market. Now a standard lot, it is about a $2,000 investment from your trading account. Each pip is now worth about $10. So those 50 pips, you're able to capture them, you just generated a $500 profit here. Now I know there's probably some of you here, you're probably saying, well William, I can't start off trading with a $2,000 investment per trade. Well that's one of the neat things about what I'm going to show you here today. We're going to actually go beyond a micro lot account here, I'm going to show you how to set up a demo account. I'm going to teach you a trading strategy, show you how to set up a demo account where you can actually trade with play money, uh, just like you would be actually trading in this market, and then what you do is when you become comfortable trading, you get up to speed, become comfortable, then you can actually invest into your account, maybe start off with a micro lot account. 
build up your confidence, build up your trading accounts to the point where you're trading a mini lot, and then we become comfortable trading at a mini lot level, and you're able to build your account up, then we can get you to a standard lot. So we kind of refer to this as crawling, walking, and running. We'll help get you up to speed in this market and start becoming profitable uh, in this market here. So what I want to do, this is actually, uh, this is one of my trades from about two weeks ago. Uh, last week I showed another one here, but I want to just, let's go ahead, let's jump into the charts right now, and now you kind of have a basic idea of how this works. Uh, let me show you what happened here on this trade uh, with a pound Australian dollar that I showed you last time. So let's go ahead, let's pull up the charts. Uh, and if everybody could just do me a quick favor right now, when you see, right now you should see a chart on your screen. Uh, just go ahead, just type in Y, type in yes, let me know that you do in fact see this because we're now going to go in, show you how we start analyzing this market. I'm going to teach you that London Daybreak trading strategy here today. So, uh, great. Thank you, Charles. Thank you, Anthony, uh, Nicholas, Carl. Great. So it looks like everybody sees the chart on the screen. So let's go ahead, let's get started here. So uh, basically, uh, in my Investor Inspiration webinar about a week ago, I basically showed everybody here what I was looking for is I was looking for this Great British Pound. This is the Great British Pound, Australian dollar. So basically what you have is the Great British Pound trading versus the Australian dollar, the Aussie. And in that webinar, I said to look for the market to pull back down right around this level Look and then look for a U-turn and look for it to go up. And pretty much almost exactly what I said happened here. It went just a little bit below this level. You turned right here and went up. But what I want to do is I'm going to explain to you the analysis of how I was able to determine that it was going to do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete all this here. We're going to delete all this and I'll kind of give you an idea and show you. I kind of gave you an idea of where I believe the market's going to be going. So I'm going to back this up. Let's back this up. There we go. And we bring this down a little bit. Okay, there we go. Now, what you're looking at here, this is our proprietary charting software. We've invested millions of dollars in this charting software. I think uh, I've seen some of you ask questions, I think with Joe, some of you are asking, well, why don't we just use our broker's charting platform? Well, I'm going to show you some of the bells and whistles of this and make this probably, in my opinion, uh, one of the easiest charting platforms to use. It's very user-friendly, very easy to use. Uh, but I want to start off as we go along here. I'll explain to you what I'm looking to do in this market. Uh, before I start trading, I want to answer three questions. Number one, I want to determine where is the market going? Is it going up or is it going down? Now, number two, I want to determine where and why to get into the market. And then number three, where and why to get out. Now, obviously, you're not going to be able to predict this each and every time, but what we're going to do is I'm going to teach you here, teach you a couple different trading strategies here and some, using some analysis where we can develop what's called an educated opinion where we believe where the market's going to go uh, and where and why to get in and where and why to get out. Now, to answer question number one, a couple different strategies, what we can use. Uh, to answer question number one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to utilize what's called a trend line. So we can come in here very easily in our charting platform. I can leave that that blue. If I draw my trend line just like this, as the market is above this trend line, we call this our buy zone. Meaning that when we're above this trend line, I'm looking to buy the market. When the market then breaks below that trend line, I'm then in the sell zone. And we'll continue to sell the market until once again it then breaks above. Oops. I delete that. I meant to grab my trend line. And I like to change. It makes it a little bit different color. And I can come in here and draw my trend line just like this. And when we are then above our trend line, we're back by in the buy zone once again. So this is very simple, very basic analysis here. Kind of give me an idea of where I believe the market is going. At this point, uh, I think it was right around here somewhere is where I, I was telling everybody. In fact, let me bring this back up here. Uh, I think I, showed you, I just showed you that trade from uh, about two weeks ago. Uh, the reason I was looking at that trade from two weeks ago, you can see here what happened is at this point the market had broke above the trend line, rallied up, came down, bounced on the backside of the trend line, and then went up here. So that's why I was looking uh, with that trade, I think from two weeks ago, uh, on the pound Aussie here. Now, we determine now, number one, we have that educated opinion as to where we believe the market is going. We believe now that the market's going up. It's above that trend line. Now, one of the things here, I just kind of just came in here and just ran, I don't say randomly, I just came in here and eyeballed these trend lines here. So you might be saying, well, how do we know how to draw these trend lines? 
Uh, in our education, we actually teach how to properly draw a trend line, but built into our charting platform, we have some automated features. We have what's called our smart trend line tool. If I want to, I can simply come here to the beginning of this new trend, just like that, and it's going to draw my trend line automatically for me. It's called my smart trend line. Then when the market goes below, I simply come up here to the beginning of the new trend, and then draws it just like that. It's going to automatically draw my trend line just like that. So just kind of give you an idea of how that actually works. Make sure you're doing it accurately, uh, and, and we'll quickly draw these for you. Uh, so answers question number one. I now have an educated opinion as to where I believe the market was going. So let's go ahead here, and we're going to zoom in to the beginning of this new trend. Now, that's going to answer question number one. We believe the market's going up. Uh, what I want to do is I want to explain to everybody is that the market isn't going to go straight up. As you see here, the market isn't going to go straight up. It's going to move in waves. As it's going up, it's going to make what are called higher highs and higher lows, just like this. And then when the market's going down, it's going to make lower lows, lower highs, lower lows and lower highs. Now, we have a tool that's going to help us take advantage of these wave movements here. Uh, that tool is what we call the Fibonacci tool. In fact, uh, there might be a couple other presenters telling you about it, so I'm not going to go into a lot of detail explaining what the Fibonacci tool does. Uh, but what it's going to do is it's going to help us measure these wave movements here. It's going to help us predict where the market's going based on where it's been. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here, and as the market's moving upward, we refer to this as an A, B, C, D movement. As it's going up, and then it does the same thing as it's going down. A, B, C, D, just like that. So when we identify this A to B boundary, and we're going to come in here in just a second, I'm going to show you how to identify this A, B boundary, we can come in and we can spread our Fibonacci tool from the A to the B, just like that. In fact, I'm going to zoom in on this. Can I give you an overview, show you how this works? Uh, but basically, uh, some of you might be wondering, well, what do these numbers mean? Don't worry too much about the numbers right now. Uh, what we've done is we've actually made the Fibonacci tool pretty easy to understand. If you can match colors, you can use this Fibonacci tool pretty successfully and quickly here. So if you can see here, if the market goes A, B, and pulls back and forms this C point. Now I'm going to show you here how we can help identify and uh, predict what this C point is. Uh, if it pulls back, it gives me a red retracement level. What that's telling me if we buy into the market after the CU turn, I'm going to look to exit my position at the red extension here. What we've found out is in between this A and B boundary is the market pulls back, or what's called retraces, and then after it retraces, it U-turns, and then it extends. So what you have here between your A and B boundary, these are called your retracement lines. Above the B line, these are called your extension lines. So the market retraces and extends. Very easy to understand. If the market pulls back here now to the blue level, and gives me the U-turn at the blue level, then, and we buy into the market after that, I'm going to be looking to exit my position at the blue extension, like a buddy system blue to blue, and of course, if the market goes green, pulls back and gives me a re green retracement, then I'm going to be looking to exit my position here at the D extension right there. So the same thing happens here, then once it fulfills this A, B, C, D swing, then we now have a new a, B, oops, let me delete that, and then we would have a new A, B, C, D swing, and we would continue, as long as the market keeps making those higher highs and higher lows, we would continue to use our Fibonacci's as it's going up there, A, B, C, D. Now, the same thing happens when the market's going down, when we identify an A to B boundary as it's going down, we can do it just like this, and the market would go A, B, C, D, and then A, B, C, D as it's going down just like that here. So I kind of give you an idea of how that works. I'm not going to go into a lot of details about all this because I'm going to show you a tool that does all this automatically for you here. Let's clean all this up. Let's delete all that. And let's actually go into the market and let me show you here how I was able to predict that trade. Now I'm going to give you an idea using my analysis here of where I think the market's going to be going here. So uh, we've answered question number one. We believe the market's going to be going up based on utilizing those trend lines. So what we need to do now to use our Fibonacci tool is we have come in here to the beginning of this new trend. We come down here to the beginning of this new trend because we can't just simply just jump right in. We have to identify that A to B boundary as the market's moving up. So I'm going to come in here and zoom in right here. So this low point right here, this low point right here 
this is going to be my A point. It's the lowest point at the beginning of this new trend. Now, to find my B point, and the reason this is my A point, number one, it's called a proper low. It has two candles to the left, to the right, which are higher. So that's going to be my A point. Now, to find my B point, what I'm going to look for are, is another candlestick formation where you have two candles to the left, to the right, which are lower than the candlestick wick. But what I'm going to do is make something, actually, uh, let me come in here and I'm going to make something that makes this even easier. We don't even have to come in here and identify that B boundary. I'm going to show you here what's called our smart Fibonacci tool, just like this. So we come in here, I can just click on it just like that. Bam. So it's automatically identifying my A to B boundary. So right there was my B. I didn't even have to come in here and look for it. So uh, here's what happened. Uh, I think this was uh, two investor inspirations ago. I said, look for the market. The market here went A, B. In fact, let me zoom in. I'm going to zoom in on this. Uh, the market went A, B, and it rallied up here. And I think during the webinar it was up here, and I said to look for the market to come down here to one of these red retracement levels. We predict, and through our education, we teach our students that what happens is that when the market does not give us an immediate retracement, if it comes up here to one of the green or red extension levels before pulling back, then what we're going to be looking for is a high probability of it pulling back. So what ended up happening is it came up here, waved a little bit, and it pulled back right here, and I looked to buy into the market right there. The reason I looked to buy into the market right here is because this is an engulfing bullish candlestick right here. Sign language of the market right there. So could buy into the market right there. Now another thing here is we teach our students how to utilize what are called counter trend lines. We can come in here and draw a counter trend line, and right here you see the market rallied up and broke the counter trend line. So this right here, would have been the opportunity to buy into the market when the market broke above and closed above that trend line. At this point, we had a red retracement level pullback. Right here, almost right here to the 0 0.50 retracement level. So like a buddy system, red to red, we would hold our position and look to exit at the red extension. So red to red. So in this case right here, if we were to buy into the market to close that candlestick and we were to exit at our red extension, that was 151 pips of movement right there. Now, the neat thing about this is that we're also teaching when you go through a full education, proper equity management and risk management. Now, the neat thing about this is that as the market's going up, we can move our stop loss up and continue to stay in that trade until we get taken out. But and that's a little bit more advanced here today. I just want to explain to you how we can actually go more after more of this year. So this brings me now to that most recent trade. All right, sorry, another one here. We had another one here, A to B. The market once again rallied up, pulled back all the way down here to the green. So what that meant was we were then looking for the green extension. And if we were to draw our counter trend line, just like this, you see here the market pulled back and broke above our trend line and rallied up, rallied up nicely right there. And then it formed its new A to B boundary. As you can see here, it just continues to do that here. Now, some of you have just asked, what are these uh, green and red candles? Uh, as I told you before, our charting software has a neat little feature built into it. Uh, what we have here, we can come in here and turn on those candlestick formations. We simply come in here and select all, and it'll turn on those. So if we're looking for opportunities to buy into the market, so for instance, right here, we had an A, B, the market pull back right here would have been a buying opportunity right there. and right here would have been a buying opportunity, right there. So we had another A, B, C, D swing, and then that brought us to the last Investor Inspiration webinar where I said to look for the market, it went A, B, look for it to pull back, it pulled back uh, right here, right about there, a little bit between the 3.0, or 3.82 and the 5.0, and then right there would have been our indicator again. And now there's also here, we had a couple of different opportunities. We wanted to, here is what's called, one of those, it's a morning star candlestick formation. If you miss that one, there's another engulfing bullish candlestick. Actually, that's a piercing, I believe it's a piercing line right there. Uh, once again, we go into greater detail teaching about this. And if we come in here, we draw our counter trend line. Ours oh, our trend line tool. And if we were looking for a safe opportunity to get into the trade, uh, it would have been, in fact, let me draw this out just like this. Safe opportunity would have been probably right around here. After we broke that counter trend line, probably would have been looking to get in 
right around there. In this case here, it was a red retracement pullback. And you can see here the market then rallied up. Uh, to this point right here. So if we were to enter into the market right there, uh, based on where the current market is, we would be up about 294 pips. Uh, if you're following me on social media, however, uh, just yesterday, and I'll show you here at the end of the webinar how you can actually follow me here online. Let me draw my trend line. Ah, hold on, I'll just draw my trend line just like this. Uh, what ended up happening is that, as you see here, as the market was going up, it was balancing right along that trend line. So I actually, on my social media, was uh, showing uh, some of the people that follow me that right here was another opportunity to buy in. Uh, if, you're looking, if you missed the initial opportunity, there was another one, and if you actually got into the market right there, uh, based on where the current market is, you'd be about 80 pips on that one. So what I'm looking for, uh, if you're looking for current opportunity, what I'm going to be, oops, delete that. Based on the uh, pound Australian dollar here, what I'm going to be looking for is the market to continue going up, potentially right along this trend line. Come up, come down, come up, come down, just like that, and keep trading it up to the red extension. Now, why the red extension? We had a red retracement pullback. So there's still potentially, uh, still potentially another 388 pips as it's going up. Now, this is on a two-hour time frame. Uh, some of you, uh, you might want to trade it on a lower time frame, like a 15-minute time frame. Uh, there's other opportunities to do that. But I just want to kind of show you here what I'm looking at here, why I was able to predict the market to come down like this. If you go back and look at that video, you can see I was talking about looking for it to come back. Because once again, we teach our students. Oops. So let me do that. Make that orange. There we go. Like I said, looking for it to come down. We look for at least a 0 0.382 retracement. Looking for at least that 0 0.382, and that's exactly, pretty much exactly what happened. And then it's gone up, and I'm kind of looking for it to go up to this red extension here. So. We'll stick around here and see what ends up happening with this here. But uh, one of the things I also want to tell everybody before we jump in here, I just kind of showed you some basic analysis. And like I said, our full education, we go into much greater detail about all this. I just want to kind of show you some of the tools that are built into our charting platform. Uh, somebody was just asking here about what are these rectangles at the top of the screen. Uh, if you look here, I have about 18 different rectangles that each have a different currency pair. So what these are called, these are called workspaces. Uh, the neat thing about this is that you can actually come in here and create workspaces in your charting platform like I have for this presentation here. And these workspaces, you can save them to your computer or you can save them to the cloud. Meaning that uh, with your charting platform that you have to take for a test drive here today, uh, you can actually open these charts up on different computers. If you want to save your charts to the cloud on one computer, uh, you can pull them up on another one. You'll be able to access all your charts just like that. Now, the other neat thing about that is that as part of this free trial here today, uh, Josh, I think, is going to give you a couple free workspaces uh, to get started here today. He'll show you how to download those and get them right into your, uh, your uh, charting platform here. So uh, there are a couple of neat features that are built in. We have that auto Fibonacci. Uh, we have the Fibonacci tool that's color coordinated. And some of you are asking about that. Yeah, that's built right into our charting platform. Uh, we have the smart Fibonacci tool, that smart trend line tool. Uh, we teach our students about support and resistance. We have smart support and resistant lines built in here, uh, daily encapsulation, a lot of neat things. We even have a king's crown tool, which is really nice. Uh, for those of you that might be a little bit advanced, but for my more advanced traders, if you want to make sure you're making your king's crown correctly, you can come in just like this. And then when it gives you... If it gives you a green indicator, then you did it correctly here. So I just want to go ahead and show you how that works as well. Uh, one more quick thing before we jump into the London Daybreak trading strategy. Uh, once again, those of you that are wondering, well, why should we use this charting platform? Uh, you can also, the neat thing about this is that you can have the, the charting platform, you can trade right from the charts. So the neat thing about this is that you can come in here, set, we teach you and show you how to set your broker account right up to the charting platform. And let's just say that right now, obviously the market's closed right here, but let's say I just want to go ahead and do a market buy right now. I can simply just go ahead and right click and buy, do a market buy, and then I can set this up right here in with trading right with my broker's platform. I can set my stops and my limits, and I can set this all up. And we'll teach you and we'll show you how to do all this right here. Uh, the other thing is that I know some of you might be wondering as far as waiting for the market to cross counter trend lines before getting into a trade like this. Here's the neat thing about this. Let's say that instead of me sitting around waiting for the market to cross above this trend line, what I can do is I can click on this line and I can add an alert. 
And the neat thing about this is that it can send me an email or a text message right to my phone. So I don't have to sit in front of my charts waiting for the market to move. The chart will teach you and show you how you can have the charts actually send you an email or a text message so you can jump back on and do that right there. So can I give you an overview of how this all works? What I'm going to do now is show you an even easier way. Like I told you, you'll get the charting platform here today as part of the, the trial. You'll get to play around with all these neat little features. At least you have a better idea of how they'll work. Uh, in, in the onboarding series, uh, we have some tutorials here where Josh is going to teach you how to use the Fibonacci's and that as well. But what I'm going to do is let's go ahead. I'm going to actually teach you a trading strategy right now that you don't have to know Fibonacci's. You don't have to know trend lines. You don't have to know all that. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you here the London Daybreak trading strategy. Very simple trading strategy that's going to answer each one of those three questions we were talking about. Where is the market going? Where do I want to get in? And where uh, do I want to get out of it here? So uh, what I'm going to do is let's go ahead, let's pull this up here. You should see six different currency pairs on your chart right now. You might, if you're taking notes, this is the London Daybreak trading strategy I'm about to jump in. I just showed you some basic analysis. Let's go ahead, let me show you something even simpler. Uh, you're gonna be utilizing the Great British Pound Canadian dollar, the Great British Pound US dollar, the Great British Pound Japanese yen, the Great British Pound Swiss franc, Great British Pound New Zealand dollar, and the Great British Pound Australian dollar, the Aussie. These are the six currency pairs. Make it very simple to focus on this trading strategy. Now, as I told you before, we're going to be going after a minimum of 50 pips per currency pair per day. That's going to give you, if you have an opportunity five times per week with each one of these currency pairs, it's going to give you 30 trading opportunities each and every week. Now, we're going to teach you that there's some days that you're probably not going to want to trade this. Josh is going to go a little more detail teaching about that. But what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and jump in right now. And let's start talking about this in here. I'll actually teach you the basic version of this. Can I give you a Cliff Notes version of how this actually works? I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. And like I said, right now, uh, those of you here in the room right now, you should see uh, six different charts on your screen. Once again, we're going to be utilizing these six currency pairs, pound yen, pound US dollar, pound Aussie, pound Canadian dollar, pound Swiss franc, and the pound New Zealand dollar. Uh, first of all, most of you can probably already tell these are all Great British Pound based. Uh, they're also on a one hour time frame. So what that means is that each one of these candlesticks is going to represent one hour of time frame. So what I'm going to do is let's go ahead, let's go in and let's start talking about how this actually works, why we're going to do this trading strategy. So let me go ahead and pull up a window here. I'm going to pull up the pound New Zealand. And I've come in here, I've already highlighted a couple different things here. But let's go ahead, let's start this. Uh, if you're taking notes, it's a good place to start taking notes because we're going to go into the basics of why this works. Uh, what we're looking for is we're going to be looking for the market to pull back or to rally up and give us either its initial high or the low for the day. We're going to be looking for this between 2 o'clock a.m. Eastern Time and, oops, and 5 o'clock a.m. Eastern Time. So we're going to be looking for the market to pull, up, pull back and give us its low for the day and then rally up. Or we're going to be looking for the market to rally up, form its high, and then pull back here. Now, the reason for this, this goes back to what I was talking about at the beginning of the webinar. Uh, right here, you have the close of the Asian session and the beginning of the London session. So what happens here is you're having that close here, and it's going to help provide this directional movement between this time period. So we'll be looking for either the high or low for the day between this time period. Then what we're going to look for is this directional movement, either for the market to rally up or for it to rally down, to pull back. Then we'll be looking for, let me see if I can move, pull this down up. Ah. There we go. So then we'll be looking for our opposite high, oops, high or low for the day. We're going to be looking for this between 8 o'clock a.m. Eastern Time and 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. So like I said, we'll be looking for the market to pull back and form either it's high or low and they either rally up or pull back and then form its opposite high or low for the day between 8 o'clock a.m. and 2 o'clock p.m. Now the reason for this is because you have the close of the London session and you have the opening of the U.S. session here. So 
we would be looking for this directional movement here. Now, this directional movement, what we have found is that each one of these six currency pairs, they have what's called an average daily trading range. This directional movement, we're looking for anywhere from a minimum of 50 pips of movement and over 200 pips. The goal, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you how to go after the first base, going after the minimum of 50 pips per currency pair per day. I'm going to teach you a very basic Cliff Notes version, kind of how this works. Josh will go into more details in his video, giving you a little more on this here and showing you how to go after more than the 50 pips. I help fine tune this a little bit for you here. So uh, if everybody has this written down, you have a very, very basic understanding of how this works here. Now, once again, if you remember, we were talking about lot sizes, depending on what lot size you're trading. If you're trading with a micro lot account, if you're going after those 50 pips per day at 10 cents per pip, you're looking at about $5 in profit. Uh, for my mini lot traders, at $1 per pip, you'd be looking at about $50 in profit per currency pair per day. And then for those of you that are trading at the standard lot level, at uh, $10 per pip, you're going after about $500 in profit per currency pair per day. So let's go ahead and let's go in. Let me show you how this actually works. Let's pull back. Because I've already come in here, I've already highlighted. So we're looking for our, either our higher low between 2 o'clock a.m. and 5 o'clock a.m. Eastern time. So I've already come in, I've already highlighted a couple of these, going back to the beginning of the month. And yeah, let me just move this over here. So if we go back here, you can see here this is uh, October 26th. And actually one of the things I want to show everybody here, we're actually going to be looking for the close the close of the 3 o'clock a.m. Eastern Time Candle. I'll get into this here in just a little bit here, but we're essentially we're going to be starting our trading strategy at 4 o'clock a.m. Each one of these candlesticks represents one hour. So if you look right here, here's our 3 o'clock a.m. candle from October 26, 3 o'clock a.m. The market rallied up, gave us that directional movement. It rallied up 125 pips. Uh, here's our next 3 a.m. candle from the 27th, rallied up 80 pips. Next 3 a.m. candle uh, on the 28th, this one gave us 100 pips. Here's our next one, a little bit less, 35 pips. 84 pips off of this one, 120 pips of directional movement, 218 off of this one. Uh, this one right here, this is from uh, November 4th. Uh, actually, this one's a losing trade. This one, I'm gonna show you here why this was a losing trade. Uh, we actually lost about 37 pips off of this one. Uh, we got 86 pips of directional movement off of this one and 220 here, uh, just like that here. So just want to go ahead and kind of show you here how this works. Now, some of you might be wondering, well, why does this happen? Why is there this directional movement? What we have found is that during the European market, they're processing the largest bulk of Forex transactions. Now, what happens during this period is that the banks are processing their orders, and this provides a huge injection of volume and it provides this directional movement here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here right now teach you a trading strategy to take advantage of this directional movement, and then Josh will show you in that video how you can actually go in and we'll do this a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead, let's pull this in here, and I'll come in here, I'm going to show you here this trading strategy out of these six currency pairs uh, from yesterday. For our trades from yesterday, the six trades, we were one five out of six trades. I'll come back in here and show you how that works, but what is I'm going to demonstrate this now on the pound New Zealand dollar here. So here's our pound New Zealand on the one hour time frame. I'm loving this here. I just showed you that here going back to the beginning of the month. Let's go ahead, let's start here on Thursday. Uh, here's Thursday of this week right here. There's our three o'clock a.m. candle from the 17th. And let me show you how this trading strategy works. Let's pull this back. So we have our three o'clock a.m. candle. And here's where the actual trading strategy will be. So I was just asking what this is. This is called the London Day, oh, London Day, break strategy. This was created by Josh Martinez and like I said, I'm, I don't have a lot of time to go into all the details. I'm going to kind of give you the overview here, give you the basics of this. Josh in his video, he'll go into a lot more detail teaching you some of the, the details about how this actually works. So I'll kind of give you the overview and he'll refine this and teach you a little bit more of this here. So I want you to identify that 3 a.m. candle, the close of that, actually let me type that out once again. We'll start at the close of the 3 o'clock AM candle. There's our 3 AM. Once it closes, we can come in here and we're going to set two pending orders. 
one pending order is going to be 10 pips above the high of that candle. So in this case here, 68. We'll set this at uh, 78, right there. 10 pips above the high. And I'll, I'll, touch, I'll type that out for everybody. It's going to be an entry buy. Is equal plus 10 pips above the high. And yes, that, that wick is the high of that candle. So we have one pending order, 10 pips above the high. Now we're also going to come in here, in fact, I'll make this a little bit bigger. We're going to set an entry sell five pips below the low. So 35, we set this at 30 right there. Our entry cell is going to equal minus five pips below the low. And for those of you asking, I hope you're asking why the difference. Why 10 pips above, five pips below low? Uh, Josh in his video, I believe he goes in a little more detail explaining why 10 pips above, five pips below. But uh, basically, this is what you do. This is step number one. We set these two pending orders, and this is going to help us answer. If you remember, there's three questions we need to answer. Number one, where is the market going? Well, this is going to help us determine. It gives us that educated opinion as to which way we believe it's going to go, that directional movement. And number two, where and why to get in. And then number three, where and why to get out. So we've been able to answer two of these questions. Number one, where's the market going? Uh, we're going to be believe the direction is going to be based on which one of these gets triggered. Then we get triggered, that's the answer number two. Where and why we're going to get in and we'll see what happens here. So we have this all set up, let's see what happens here. This is going back to Thursday's trade on the pound New Zealand. So one hour later, bam, within that next hour the market rallies up triggers our entry buy. That entry buy right now, this became a market buy. Meaning that we are now actually in the market and we are buying the pound New Zealand dollar. And what this is doing is giving us that educated opinion now that we're looking for that directional movement going up. So very simple here. Very simple if you can do exactly what I'm showing you here. Uh, Josh will help fine tune it for you, but this now answer questions number one and two. Where's the market going? Where and why to get in? Now, the next order of business, once we get triggered into that trade, we're going to come in here, we're going to cancel our opposite order. Because we don't want to sell the market, we want to buy the market. So that's the next step. Next step after that is we are going to come in here and we are going to set our stop loss here. Uh, stop loss is going to go when buying the market right here at the, at the low of that 3 a.m. candle. Make that red. And I'll type this out. It's a little bit different when selling the market, but stop, loss, when buy, uh, buying is going to equal at the low of the 3 a.m. candle. So there's our 3 a.m. candle. There we set our stop loss at the low. Now to set our, to answer question number three, where and why to get out of this trade, uh, we have two different options here. Let me delete this. So our target, which is our limit, where we're going to set to get out of this trade, will be one of two different things. Number one, it's either going to be a minimum of 50 pips. Now, I think Josh might even uh, fine tune this a little bit more. That might even be a little bit different than this. And then number two, a one to one, one to one risk. ratio. So we come in here. Let's see how we're going to set our target. Uh, this is our entry and this is our stop loss. If I come in here and this is my measuring tool, I can come in here and measure the pips. If I come in here and measure this, you can see on this trade, if you look in the upper left hand corner of my screen, the range is the amount of pips. We are risking 43 pips on this trade. So what we're going to do is we're going to go after the minimum then of 50 pips. So we come in here, we're going to set our target 50 pips up. So let's see, right about there. So at 1.7630, 1.7630 is going to be our target. Now, just to make sure everybody understands this here, we were risking 43. We we're risking about 43 on this trade. 
Uh, we're going after a minimum of 50, so we're setting this at a minimum of 50, right about, let's make sure I'm measuring this right. Let's see, 78, so I think actually 50's at uh, 76.29. Okay, so I was off by one pip. It's actually probably be 28 if we're going after 50, 28. There we go. So there's our 50 pips. Let's go ahead and see what happens here. We have our entry. Stop loss is set. We have our target. Let's see what happens here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven hours later, the market rallies up, and we're now out of that trade. Uh, if somebody was just asking here, well, do we have to, does that mean we have to be up in the, up in, at the market at 4 o'clock? Well, at this point, once you set this in your broker's platform, you could have went back to bed. It would automatically take you out when this hits your targets. In this case here, we captured those 50 pips. Not too bad. So on that trade right there, 50 pips. Uh, for those of you trading a mini lot account, not too bad. You just made about $50 in profit. If you're trading the standard lot account, which is where we want to get you to, uh, you just made about $500 in profit in about seven hours off that trade. So uh, that's the trade from uh, Thursday. Let's clean this up, and we'll bring it to the most recent trade from yesterday morning, and then we'll show you those other trades uh, going back uh, over to uh, today. Or, uh, yeah, sorry, yesterday. So let's go ahead and let's bring this now to the next opportunity here. Uh, yeah, Matt's asking how do we get the video. Matt, I'll show you here in just a second here. When you take this for the trial, you'll get the charting platform, you'll get the video, the tutorials, those free bonuses. I'll go over that all here in just a second here. So our first trade on Thursday, not too bad. Uh, now we're going to bring this now to this is yesterday morning, Friday morning, the 18th. Uh, there's our 3 o'clock a.m. candle. And we're going to do the exact same thing as what we just did here. Come in here, two pending orders, 10 pips above the high, so 96. We set this at 106. Now, I'll type this out once again, entry by is equal plus 10 pips above the high. And like I say, yeah, Josh in his video, he'll go in a little more detail about this for you, why 10 pips above. And then, oops, we have our entry cell, entry cell, and that's going to equal minus 5 pips below. So we come in here, let's set that in here, five pips below that low. So this is at 40, so it's at 35, right there. So entry buy, pending order, 10 pips above the high, entry sell, five pips below the low. Same thing as what we did on that previous trade. So at this point, let's see what's going to happen. So one hour later, bam, market pulls back, triggers our entry sell giving us that educated opinion, we're now going to be looking for that directional movement to be going down. So we're looking for the market to, to, to pull back and go down. So this case right here, we just got triggered in. We're now in this trade. We're in a market sell, meaning that we believe the market's going to be going down. And for those of you here wondering, well, if the market's going down, how we make money, it's called shorting the market. Yes, you can short the market. Uh, we can teach you how to do that as well. Uh, but in this case right here, we're selling the market. Uh, we then come in here, and we're going to delete the opposite order, because we're not looking to buy, we have that educated opinion where we believe the market's going to go down. Uh, here's something a little bit different though. We're going to come in here, we're going to set our stop loss. Uh, where's our three o'clock? Here's our three o'clock. Uh, a little bit different here. Our stop loss when selling is going to be five pips above the high, so 96. In this case there, there's our stop loss. It's going to go five pips above that high. Uh, once again, I don't have a lot of time to go into this. I think Josh goes into a little bit more detail about this. Is stop loss when selling is going to equal plus five pips above the high of that three o'clock a.m. candle. Same thing as what we did on that previous trade, only we're now selling the market here, and our stop loss is going five pips above the high. Uh, let's see what our risk is on this trade. Our risk on this trade is going to be 66 pips. If you remember our target, our target is, or which is also our limit. We can set this on our broker's platform, set it and forget it. Uh, that's going to be either one, a minimum 
of plus 50 pips or uh, to a one to one risk ratio. So in this case here, we have two options. We either go after 50 pips or we go after 66. So in this case right here, I'll show you the, we'll go after 66. So in this case, there's our entry. Oops, wrong tool. There we go. So where is 66 pips? Right there, so 1.7568. And right about there. And so that we have our entry. We will also have, we believe the market's going down. So we have our educated opinion. We're looking to sell the market. There's our entry. We have our stop loss set protecting us if the market goes against us. And there is our target. So let's see what happens here now. And once again, at this point, once you have this set up in your broker's platform, you can go to bed, go do whatever you want to do because everything's going to be automatic. You're either going to uh, get taken out for loss or the market's going to go in your favor and you'll get taken out with a profit. So let's see what happens here. One, two, three hours later, the market does in fact come down, hits our limit, and we just made another 50 pips. So not too bad. Thursday night, simply just using the strategy I just showed you, uh, you made 50 pips. Uh, uh, actually, it was a, I'm sorry, uh, Thursday morning, and then Friday morning on the, the 18th, you just made another. So once again, with a mini, uh, you made, what, $50? about with a standard lot, uh, you made about 500 here. So, oops. So once again, this is just the Cliff Notes version of this. Uh, Josh is actually going to be giving you a video. Uh, when you actually sign up for this trial, I'm going to send out a link here in just a second where you can actually get access to the video, sign up for the trial and the software here. He'll go in here, he'll go in a little more depth about this. But one of I promise you, I would come back in here. Uh, this is actually off the trade from yesterday, but if you see here, look what happened. I ended up dropping down uh, 182 pips, so not too bad. Uh, the pound New Zealand, and Josh will show you how to continue staying in this trade by moving your stop loss down, locking in pips as you're going down, and moved 182 pips. Uh, we also had, let me clean this up a little bit here so you can see that. There we go. So not too bad on the pound New Zealand, 82 pips. Uh, on the pound yen, it dropped 175 pips. Uh, we did have one losing trade. The pound U.S. yesterday morning, uh, we had an educated opinion was going up and it went down. Once again, Josh will go in, and this might be one of those ones where he said, hey, maybe you don't want to take this trade for the day. But we were lost 47 on that one, 137 pips on the pound Aussie. Uh, the pound Canadian, 154 pips, it went down. And the pound Swiss franc, 128. And like I said, the pound New Zealand, it went down uh, just like that here. So uh, this is the London Daybreak trading strategy you'll get. The video from Josh will send you, give you a couple free bonuses with this as well. In addition to the charting software that I just showed you here today, like I promised you, this is kind of like a a forex a kickstart kick. Very easy to get into the market. I uh, give you the trade, the charting software. We're going to teach you some trading strategies here, so you can literally tomorrow when the market opens up at five o'clock start practicing this here. So part of the charting software, you're going to get that exclusive auto Fibonacci tool. It's patent pending. Uh, like I said, we spent millions of dollars invested in the charting platform for that. Uh, that auto trend line tool, we have an auto king's crown tool, there's candlestick tools. All these are built right into the charting platform. I showed you how you can have this send you emails or text right from the charts. I even trade directly from the charts. Uh, those workspaces are cloud-based. Access your charts from uh, multiple computers if you want, if you use multiple computers. Me personally, I, I do a lot of analysis on my laptop. When I go into the office, I can pull up my charts right on my desktop computer, right from the cloud. Uh, there's the ability to do demo trading right from the charts. Uh, we also have the ability to do auto trading. We'll go into a little more detail in those lessons here. So uh, as part of the, the Forex Quick Start Kit that I'm showing you here today, you're going to get the lessons, those video lessons, and you're going to get the charting platform for a 14-day trial here. So as part of Mr. Inspiration, don't have a lot more time here, uh, but normally, if you saw uh, my colleague earlier here, Joe, uh, he had mentioned that our charting platform, normally you would have to be a student of Market Traders Institute to get it. Uh, and it would cost you about uh, $249 a month on a month-to-month -month subscription here. However, as part of Investor Inspiration, we're doing something special for you here today. We're going to give this charting software to you, those video lessons on the charting, on the, um, the, uh, the, the London Daybreak trading strategy, 
for one dollar for 14 days if you've been interested in getting into the forex market taking our charting software for a trial it's gonna cost you one dollar for the next 14 days if you choose to go beyond those 14 days we have an investor inspiration special where we can get you locked in and it's only gonna cost you fifty nine dollars a month and then once again that is on a month-to-month -month basis one you don't have to be a student of market traders institute and also uh, you don't actually uh, you won't be paying the 249 that our students pay now we're gonna give you three free bonuses I'll go to those here in just a second uh, but some of you here asking how do we get started click on the link I'm sending out a link right now into the uh, the chat box uh, look at your chat box I just sent out a link you click on that link we'll get you registered for that trial but what I want to do right now is I'm gonna go into the details about what all you're going to get as part of that what you get for that one dollar for the next 14 days uh, the steps are enrolling into this number one click on that link that's gonna enroll you into the charting software trial you're gonna get everything in your hands here today where uh, you'll be able to actually start trading tomorrow I'm gonna show you here in just a second how to set up a demo account as well uh, when you click on that link get registered you'll probably get one email letting you know that you are in fact locked in you're registered for this trial and then you'll probably get a subsequent email with the information with your login information I'm gonna show you where you'll log in and how to access that area here in just a second when you log in you start viewing the training lessons for the charting I'll go over those here in just a second for you and you'll get the video for the London breakout trading strategy from Josh uh, I'm also going to show you here in just a second how to set up your trading account either a live or a free demo account now my personal broker is FXCM I am not recommending FXCM we're not allowed to recommend brokers I've used FXCM they, uh, they're my broker I've used forex.com there's another one some of my colleagues they use OANDA but uh, you can either go to one of these websites and sign up for the free demo account it won't cost you anything or just do a Google search for a Forex uh, demo trading account and you can choose whichever one and then the neat thing about this is that you can go through the video lessons practice trading uh, do all that here and then uh, you actually start trading in the live market tomorrow when it opens at 5 o'clock p.m. so take the training software for a 14 day trial it's only gonna cost you a dollar if you like it you keep it if not it's only cost you a dollar you'll then make that decision with a very very small investment for about the cost of a pack of gum you can then start to get an idea of whether the Forex market is for you and then the other neat thing about this is that uh, each and every Friday we have a live training class uh, either myself or one of my colleagues at 11 o'clock a.m. on Fridays if you're part of this trial you will get in to a, a training class what I suggest you do is over the weekend here and over the next week take the trial go through the trial take, go through it write down some notes if you have any questions ask the instructor hey I have some questions about this and we can actually be in a live class answering some of your questions for you and once again it's for 14 days we have a guarantee we guarantee that this charting software you're gonna find the value in it if you don't I'll show you here in just a second how easy it is to cancel this trial and all you've done is you've invested one dollar cost of a pack of gum to take this for a trial over the next 14 days here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back in right now walk you through the process what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send out a couple of you asking about that link let me send out that link one more time and send that out there we go yeah the first step is to click on the link get registered for the trial uh, it'll take you to this page right here activate your 14-day trial enter all your information your billing information and once again there's there's no long-term obligation with this it's for 14 days uh, if you choose to move forward we'll get you locked in for $59 a month if not it's only cost you a dollar I'll show you how to cancel within that uh, everything on this page here are disclaimers uh, everything here the cancellation policy terms everything's right here on this page if you want to look that over uh, but like I said you'll get an email uh, right after you register for this as to let you know that you are in fact registered for the trial for that one dollar uh, investment today uh, then you'll get another email that will give you the login information to our back-end portal here this is where you're going to find the training videos uh, you're going to get our onboarding series here once again to be Josh Martinez the creator of the London Daybreak he's gonna be walking through he'll show you how to set up a demo account we'll show you how to get in and out of the market trading I'll show you how to download those three workspaces and show you how to import them into your charting platform. Uh, the Fibonacci's, I didn't get a chance to talk about them. We go into a little bit more detail teaching you how to use Fibonacci's. Uh, we also have some settings set we'll go over. The nav tools, we'll show you how to use that. And then we'll go in and show you how to use custom indicators. Uh, some of you are asking about custom indicators. Uh, there'll be something nice right there. Uh, we, we actually have some other indicators as well. I didn't even get a chance to talk to you about that. We'll show you how to use that auto Fibonacci tool and some of those other tools. And we'll show you how to link up your charts to the broker and how to actually create your workspaces just like I showed you on my charts. Uh, we also have here how to save all your work to the cloud and to your computer. We'll teach you and show you how to use systems. 
Uh, we'll show you how to use a system to auto trade. Didn't get a chance to talk to you about that here today, and so on here. So a lot of neat things here as far as our onboarding. We'll take you by the hand, teach you some of the basics here. I'll uh, show you how to use the charts. Uh, now also, we have that live webinar coming up each and every Friday. We'll get in and we'll teach you that. And then we also have uh, the London Daybreak. You'll get, oops, let me log in. Uh, give me a second here. You'll get this video from Josh. Uh, he'll go in, he'll actually go into a little bit more detail. Uh, so you asked here some good questions about the, the London Daybreak. Uh, Josh, the creator of the London Daybreak, he goes in through this video, fine tunes it a little bit. He'll probably answer a lot of your questions for you as you're going along here. Uh, for those of you setting up a demo account, uh, this is uh, FXCM, uh, their website. Uh, oops, let me go back on that. Uh, you come up here to, uh, hold on, let me go to their homepage. I'll show you how easy it is to set up a demo account. Click on practice account. Sign up for free. Enter your information. You don't have to enter any payment information. It's a free demo account. We'll teach you and show you how to link your demo account right to the charts as well. And we'll come back in here in just a second. I'll show you how you can interact with me here uh, through my Facebook page. I do daily analysis on that as well. I can answer some of your questions here. So what I'm going to do right now is uh, pull this up. This is our 800 number, and this is our customer service number. You can uh, give us a phone call or email us uh, if you have any questions or uh, if you want to go over anything that is on this here. Now, uh, this is the process here. In fact, I've, so I see somebody asked some good questions here. Uh, I'm going to walk you through this process one more time. Let me send that link out one more time. And in fact, let me answer a couple of these questions right now. Uh, Comfy says, does the strategy work every day of the week? Uh, no, it does not, Comfy. That's why you want to get involved with this, uh, with this, uh, that Josh's video. He goes in more detail. In fact, I'll, let me pull that up here just a sec. Let me show you here. Let me answer your question right now. I think it's right about here. In fact, right there. In the video lessons, he'll show you how to go after more than the 50 pips like I showed you, but also he'll show you, give you ideas as of which days are not trading days. So that, that's why I'm kind of giving you like a Cliff Notes version of all this. Uh, Josh will go to the videos. He'll teach you a little bit about that as well. Uh, uh, Matt's asking, is this $59 a month for the UCS? Yeah. Uh, Matt, uh, anybody else wondering, the, uh, the 14 day trial, it's going to cost you $1 for the 14 day trial. You're going to get everything I showed you here today for that $1. You'll take the charting software. You'll get the charting software. This charting software I just demonstrated for you, you're going to get this. You're going to be able to download this here for that $1. Take it for a 14-day trial. Uh, you're going to get uh, those video lessons I showed you. These video lessons uh, on the onboarding for the... Um, the onboarding for the charting platform, the video lessons, uh, this London Daybreak video, all of this is included as part of that $1, day, $1 uh, dollar trial as well. Uh, so everything's going to be included for the $1, and then after that, uh, yeah, yeah. Matt just asked her, what was the $250 a dollar month then? Matt, if you were a student of Market Traders Institute, normally you would have to be a student of Market Traders Institute to get access to this charting. Uh, and our students, they pay $250 a month uh, to be able to, um, to get access to this. Uh, the neat thing about this is that, uh, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, usually it's $250 a month. Matt, this actually you can get in. We're going to lock you in today. Uh, if you, it would be uh, $1 for the 14-day trial, and if you choose to go be on those 14 days, it's only going to cost you $59 a month, and that is on a month-to-month -month subscription. There is no long-term subscription. So uh, those of you that have been interested in our charting platform, uh, we're trying to make this very affordable for you at least to get started here. Uh, like I, I kind of call this my, my quick start Forex uh, guide here. We're going to put the, the charting platform in your hands, uh, the training strategies, all this in your hands, and then actually be able to go through this, uh, take it, make it very affordable. In the next 14 days, try out the charting platform. Go through those video lessons. Practice trading. You can actually practice a demo account. Over the next 14 days, decide. Help you decide whether the Forex market is for you or for not here. So uh, what do I do? Is let's go ahead here, and what I want to do is, uh, uh, let's see, Roxanne says you use the 4 a.m. candle, not the 3 a.m. on that last one. Uh, let's see here. Yep, the 3 uh, right here. On the, uh, let's see, on the Pound New Zealand, right here. Uh, 3 a.m. candle. Do you see that, Roxanne? No, it's, it's the, clo the close of the 3 a.m. candle. The close of the 3 a.m. candle. So you actually start at... Four o'clock. It's the close of that candle. Just once again, like my friends, uh, I don't have much time. Uh, but in the videos here, in the videos, oh, you're, hold on a second. Uh, in this video lesson, Josh goes in more detail with this here. I'm going to explain this here, uh, right here. So 
Uh, hopefully, I, I think I'm, I'm trying to answer your question, Roxanne. Hopefully, that that does answer it. Uh, yes, that is that. This is the close of the 3 a.m. candle. Let me pull that back up here just so everybody understands. So, yeah, each one of these here. In fact, I can go through here and show you. You can see here. You see there, 3 a.m. There's a 3 a.m. candle on that one. Uh, let's see here's the 3 a.m. on this one this was a losing trade we lost about 47 pips on that one just simply using the strategy, strategy I showed you uh, Josh in his videos he'll go in and he'll actually um, uh, use this a little bit better here so there's our 3 a.m. candle going down on that one uh, let's see here 3 a.m. on this one there we go 3 a.m. on this one oops 3 a.m. and then of course on the pound New Zealand there's our 3 a.m. Uh, just like that here. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up, my friends. Uh, you see the value in this or not, if you've been looking at trading the Forex market, uh, like I said, we try to make this affordable. If you're not ready to jump in, go through a full education, uh, here's the opportunity. So I'm going to go ahead and send that link out to everybody one last time. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick around here for about another uh, minute or so. I'm going to send that link out. Uh, let me walk you through the process one more time before we leave here. Uh, if anybody's having trouble with the link, let me know and I'll send it to you personally. But uh, step number one is to click on that link register for the charting software trial. You're going to get the charting platform for 14 days. You're going to get those video lessons, those three work free workspaces. Everything I showed you, you get it to try for $1 for the next 14 days. If you choose to go beyond those 14 days, uh, you're going to get locked in at $59 a month, saving almost $200 over what our students are paying here. Now, uh, the video lessons, they're included as part of this. You can register today for this trial. Start going over those video lessons between today and tomorrow. Uh, set up your trading account. You can do that right now. Start practice trading. Uh, you, can, you can't really do that today. You can go in and, and do some practice analysis, but the market opens up at 5 o'clock tomorrow. Uh, you'll be ready and set up. You'll have your charts. You'll have your demo account set up. We'll teach and show you how to set, to set that up as well, and then you're ready to go at 5 o'clock tomorrow. Uh, you start practicing this, and then try it out for 14 days. If you like it, keep it. You can get locked in for that $59 on a month-to-month -month basis. And you know, once again, yeah, so yeah, Jack is just confirming so we don't need to be a student. Yeah, Jack, you don't need to be a student to get access to this here today. Click on the link, register. It's going to cost you $1. What's the worth? For $1 to learn a little bit more detail how to do that? Yeah, exactly. And then you can attend that live trading class next Friday. All this is included. So on that note, my friends, I have gone over my time. I want to thank everybody here. I'm going to send that link out one last time. I send that out to everybody here. And I want to thank Investor Inspiration for bringing us here today. I uh, wish everybody good luck, uh, the best in your trading, those of you that choose to go through this year. Oh, yeah, for those of you wondering here, uh, to get access to my Facebook page. Uh, what I do on my Facebook page and on my Instagram page is I do uh, daily analysis as well. So I'm going to send that link out to everybody as well. Uh, find me on Facebook, and I can let you know the next webinar I'll be doing. And you can follow me for my analysis uh, on that as well. So on that note, I'm going to wrap it up. I'm sending that link out to everybody right now. There we go. Yeah, I, I do. Like I just, in fact, actually, right here, you can see here. Uh, I just posted this the other day. Uh, if you have been following me on Facebook, you would see here on that pound New Zealand. I'm sorry, this is on the pound Aussie. On the pound Aussie, I was showing people. Yeah, looking for uh, another opportunity to get in on this. Uh, some of my other webinars that I show here. So uh, different analysis, even on um, uh, different analysis on different currency pairs. So on that note, I got to wrap it up, my friends. I've gone over my time. Uh, I've sent out the link. If anybody's having trouble with that, just go ahead and uh, message me. I'll send it to you directly. So. Uh, I wish you a very good weekend. Have a good weekend, and I wish you the best in your new Forex trading.